What's good, Life and Poetry fam, and welcome back to the channel with your boy, your host, the one and only Marcus T. This guy right here, this one here, right there, that one. And we are back with another video right now. See, we're going back to the basics. Like I said before, we're going back to the roots. We're going back to when we first started. How are we just going to get raw? And just let you back into the life of Marcus T. You know, the things I do in day-to-day, -day, so on and so forth. Right? You guys know that I don't do too much of everything because of my, 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 my limitations right now. And I don't call it a disability no more. You know, I, I'm, you know it, it, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's just that, you know what? I may can't do it as fast as I used to, but I still can get it done. But because of the limitations, I don't do too much stuff such as going out and buying this, buying that. But when I do, I try to do something that fits in that groove there, right? So as you saw about the title of the video, we're going to do a little haul about some, on some stuff I just bought from, I believe it was H&M, Target, and, and Amazon, right? Those are my stores, H&M, Target, and Amazon. Um, but before we, jump in, before we jump into all that good stuff, guys, do me a huge favor. You want to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Guys, don't forget, most important thing to do is subscribe. I know I didn't do that whole spill that you do here been before, right? We cutting it out. We're going back to the basics, right? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's get it done. Help your boy grow the channel. Let's grow the family together. That's what we're doing here, Life of Poetry. This is this is a family setting, right? Come in, come in, come in. All are welcome. We don't we don't hold nothing back. We're not pulling punches. We're not discriminating. We're not saying you can't come because of this, guys. I want everybody who, who wants to come to come in and join the Life of Poetry family. And let's make it a great experience for everybody. Um, I think we made a goal to get to like 260 or something like that. I, I don't know. Maybe it was maybe like 300 by my birthday. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to scrap the goal. We're going to get there how we get there. When we get there, God God willing, we'll get there, you know, um, and whatever time he had for it to get there. You know, I'm moving with God through and through. If he says push for three, we're going to push for three. But if he says wait on him, I'm going to wait on him, right? So now after I've said all that, you should have subscribed by now. And you also should have turned turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified when we drop new videos here on this channel, right? But so without further ado, let's jump into the video. No transitions, no fanfare, no woo woo we gonna get right into it, right? So, like I said, we're gonna do a little haul, right? So, I think if you saw my first haul I did, and I did a haul with my wife, um, shout out to you, baby, for this one here. Trust me, when I, I'm saying that for a reason, guys. Shout out to you, baby. Yo, you are the real MVP for this one here. Um, so I did a haul the first time. I believe I told you guys that I don't like buying clothes because it, with me right now, I mean, not going too many places. Um, and for the comfortability factor, I'm a, I'm a joggers, a sweatpants type person. You know, we gonna go, we gonna go out type thing. I may have a few pair of jeans that actually can fit. Right. I'm a, I'm a tall guy, you know, so you, you got to you got to talk uh, us tall folks understand that you can find jeans that fit in the waist, maybe not all the time in the leg or fit in the leg, but too big in the waist. That thing, it happens too often. Right. But when I find stuff, I try to get it or I try. Oh, I just like, you know what? I don't need it type thing. But my wife was like, you know what? You need clothes. My mom's was saying the same thing. You know, spring is coming up. It's time, to, you know, to, to just update your wardrobe a little bit. So I, 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 I jumped out there a little bit. and I was like, OK, we're going to do some stuff. Right. So I'm like, we went and got we went and got our haircuts maybe what two weeks ago, I think it was, a week or two ago. And I'm like, babe, we got a haircut, we're gonna run to Target, I wanna get some jeans and stuff like that, right? So she be like, Cool, let's run up in it, right? So I get in there, I'm like, Well, I'm gonna need jeans, but I'm gonna need the shirt to go with the jeans, so on and so forth, right? So well, all that all good stuff, right? So she, baby girl was like, You were going here and she helped me pick out some great stuff, you know what I'm saying? She, she knows me, she knows I don't like too much, you know. And I'm a cheap person. I don't I don't like spending money if I gotta spend it. That's probably why I don't buy clothes. I saw the the, the the Vapor Max, right? That's probably the most expensive pair of shoes like sneakers that I've ever owned. Like I've had combat boots before um, uh, that were pretty expensive or like dress shoes. You know, me and my dad, we was the Stacey Adams fanatics. We go, we go to the Stacey Adams store, had our shoes either off the, off the, off the, 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 the showroom floor type thing, or we had a made for us. That's just what we did. Um, <laughs> that's just, back then, that's what we was doing. My pops, you know, he, was, he, was a real, uh, he was a real G, right? But yeah, so we went to the Target, right? And, uh, so it, the funny thing in Target, right? So I'm sorry, you see the clothes, these are the clothes here. They're not folded up. They just laying on the bed. I don't like folding new clothes until I like air them out type stuff. You know what I'm saying? And wash them, keep, keep them, get them right. But um, but we went in Target and I literally found one pair of jeans that I can fit. One pair of jeans, right? And I'll be like, well, let's get them. You know, um, and that's, I got them, right? So that, they're these blue, these light blue jeans, whatever. Um, I think they call it, but distorted jeans. Got little holes and stuff in them. See little rips or whatever. And both legs. They, they're pretty cool though, you know, they, they, they're pretty dope. And it's even one in the pocket. I'm not really sure about the hole in the pocket, but it, my, my wallet ain't gonna fall out the little hole, you know what I'm saying? But they cool though, you know, they cool. They uh, they lightweight, they breathable. And it's the irony, the weird part is that I didn't know, right, that um that, that they make men jeans, but like a little give, like a little stretchy little bit in them. 
And I was like, these ain't men's jeans, right? You gotta, had to check the, the way the button and the zipper was, right? You know, female jeans was fast in the opposite direction. So I was like, okay, these are men's jeans. But like, why are they all stretched? And I, I started to realize that I went back to look at some of the more recent jeans I bought and they all got that like little bit of elasticity in it. It's like, I mean, I, I, I ain't been going that long, right? You know, but it is from Target though. And uh, I got them, maybe it was like, I think it was size easy. A 32, 34, yeah. They have 32, 34. Now, I, I, I can get away with a 32 in the waist, but because of, you know, me losing weight the way that I did, I'm like a 31-ish in the waist, a 30, 31 in the waist, but that's kind of tight. You know, I, I still want to be able to, to breathe, especially when I'm eating, you know, your boy get to eat and your stomach get up there, you know, you got, you know, that, that thing that, you know, you know, y'all know I'm talking about y'all be eating, y'all can't fit y'all jeans no more. You know, I, I, it, it happens to me too, trust me, it's, 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 it's common, but, um, yeah, so I went, we went to the Target. I'm in my scooty cart and we go past the scooty cart. That's almost charged up all the way to it. We go on to Target. Um, but yeah, so I, we came across these and actually wifey pointed these out. Because I, I wanted a pair of light jeans, right? I, 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 I've owned maybe one pair of jeans, maybe in this shade of blue, this, this light blue, um, in my entire time of me buying my own clothes. Um, and I think I actually still have those jeans. Then those are distorted too, not by design. By by wear and tear, yeah, they have um, the, dis the the distortion is in the knee part. Like you know, you wash the jeans flat, they start to just the, the denim starts to separate a little bit. Um, and I think I was working in them one day, and I got caught on something, and it, it just pretty much ripped this. I was like, well, it's a new fashion thing. So, but yeah, so these are the first pair I got from Target, and because they only had one pair in the Target, uh, my wife was like, you know, let's go on the Target app and see if you can find some more in there. So we went on the app. And um, and I don't, I'm I'm not gonna tell you the price of these here, but they they were affordable. I'll say that they were affordable. They were affordable, you know. Um, and they, they'll say it's, it's the brand is what only original use. I guess that's Target's brand. I'm not really sure, but so I go on the app and I look for them. And these are what 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 actually are they? I think they like slim tape or something like that. What does it say? Uh, let me see what they say. Yes, yeah, slim taper. They, they're slim taper, right? So they, they're not like skinny jeans, but they're like, you know, I'm a skinny person, so I don't want them big old bell bottom type boot cut jeans anymore. They, I, I, that's not a style. They say no more boot cut jeans for men, but I don't know. I don't, I'm used to boot cut jeans, I guess. I don't know. Or just jeans that just go straight, I guess, you know. But I, I digress. So I, I go on, a, on an app. I download the app, whatever, and I go on there, and I was like, okay, I like the style of the distorted jean look. You know, it's just, it gives it a, a, a different flair, I guess. So I go on there, and I'm like, okay, I, I don't want black jeans per se. I got I got a pair already. I don't like them because they get ashy real fast. I'm, I I don't like the, if I want black jeans, I want them to stay solid black. Um, that's that's my preference. The ashy black bean is cool and all, but after a while, that ashiness starts to look rough. You know, back in the day, we used to put Vaseline. On. <laughs> me and my brother just me and my brother just put Vaseline on, on our black beans that were that were starting to get ashy, like to, to shine them up a little bit. Yeah, don't I don't recommend you do that at all. But I went on the Target app and I saw these ones here. These blue jeans here, they're similar to the blue ones. I think they're pretty much, I think they really are the same um, jeans as the blue ones. It's just a different color. Um, but the distortions are a bit different on here too. They are both distorted in the knees on both sides. Uh, see, they're still distorted in the knees, on the knees on both sides. And these fit flawlessly too. Now, now this is funny though. So these are also a 32, 34. But in the waist here, these fit perfect. The, 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 the light blue ones are a bit looser in the waist. Well, these ones here fit a bit more snug in the waist. And I, I, it's kind of weird because it's the same brand, but it's like I, I, I guess when you, I guess when you, when it comes to for clothing, you know, you, it's never a, a, a one size. You're gonna stay that size type thing, I guess, if, if, if that makes sense. Uh, like you never know. Like when it comes to certain brands or cer certain um, retail stores, like their their brand or the Levi brand or or some other brand, maybe uh, the 32 may fit big, like bulkier, or maybe fit a bit more snug in certain spaces. You know, just you never know until you actually try them on. And because of COVID, you know, we can't try them on in stores no more. So I was praying that when I got home that they fit the way that I want them to fit because I don't like returning stuff because it's like it takes too much for me to do. So I'd be like, I buy it. If I don't fit, I, could, I, would just give, I typically would just give it to somebody else that I know that can fit them. Um, but the blessing was that they that these fit, you know, and these were ordered online. So I didn't know if the order them and sending them back online. But my wife said, although if I just keep the receipt, I can return them in store. So that's a good thing about Target, right? So I got the blue jeans and that for Target. But... So, like I said at the beginning of the video, though, you know, you buy jeans, you gotta, you gotta buy some shirts, stuff to go with it, right? So, I'm still on Target's website, right? Well, actually, no, wait, 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 wait. We used to, was in the Target store, right? When I got the light blue jeans, I saw this shirt here, 
And I was like, I got to have it. It's a, it's a short sleeve graphic tee, right? And I was like, I got to have this shirt. My 90s babies, y'all know why I wanted this shirt here. Y'all know for a fact why I wanted this shirt here, right? Y'all see that? Let me come. Let me let me just hold that right there for a little bit. Y'all see that? Wow, right? Y'all see all the cartoons, right? I got the Wild Thornberries, Rocket Power, uh, uh, the Little Monsters. Uh, it's just uh, it's just crazy, yo. It's just Ren and Stimpy, Rocco's Modern Life on here, Cat Dog. Y'all come, y'all Cat Dog, Cat Dog. Come on, y'all y'all know that right there, right? So I had to get the Nickelodeon shirt, right, with all the the, the shirt that the the, uh, the uh, what's this thing called? The, the the logos on the back. Like I said, it got the Rocket Power. Ah, uh, Real Monsters, Wild Thornbirds, Cat Dog, Red and Stippy, Rugrats, Rockwood's Modern Life, um, Angry Beavers, Hey Arnold. Like, we went in. Like, I had to get this shirt. And this also was the last shirt that I can fit that was in, in the store on, on, the, on, on, the, on the, uh, the rack thing. So I got that, right? And I was like, that shirt can go with anything. I go with my sweatpants, my jeans. I don't care. I want the shirt, right? So I got that. But again, back to the website, I mean, the app, Target app website. I guess same thing. So I'm on the, I'm on the app. I was like, okay, I, I want some, something different, right? So I, I don't really like graphic tees, or I, I wasn't into graphic tees until more recently. You know, um, I, I've seen a few that were just like out there. They were like, yo, why is that on a t-shirt? Like, it, it for me, it made no, it, it made no sense. It was like, it was senseless to me to, to get something with that sp specific type of graphic on a shirt because it, it didn't flow with me, or whatever, you know. So for me to find something that I liked, it was still hard to do. So when I came across these shirts here, I was like, yo, this fits right into me. It's it's unique and I love it. So I'm I'm on the app, right, on Target's app. And the first one I saw was this um Rafiki shirt. If you guys know Rafiki from from um uh what's that thing? From Lion King. I got a cookie on my shirt, a cookie right here. <laughs> Rafiki from Lion King, right? And I thought this was pretty tough, right? The graphics of them. I like the color pattern, right? It, it's dope. It's, it's not too much. You know, I don't like too much. I don't like too 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 much for a lot of stuff, but I thought this was tough, right? I, I love that the colors pop on here, right? And if, if you know that one of my all-time favorite colors is is that blue, this blue right here. It's one of my favorite colors here. And it's specifically this shade of blue, right? Um, whether it be baby blue, sky blue, or like the turquoise blue, like those blends there, the, the, that pattern, that palette, color palette there is, that's my... Around there, I, I'm fond of black and reds also, but that that blue, that it's just like you know that the blue. I just love blue all all together. Like blue is blue for me, and I love blue. Your boy loves blue. Um, yeah, so I saw this. I was like, this junk go tough with either pair of jeans, so or anything I got really can go with this here. I got multiple other things, some shorts too can go with this here. Um, and I was like, yo, I I can just rock this. I I can just like you know wear that as I choose to wear it, right? And then I saw this other thing, right? And I, I got real childish when I got this shirt here. Um, like, I'm saying real childish. <laughs> I, I went back, and I, but I, I, I got it because I, I, I loved it, you know. And it's, it's my guy SpongeBob, right? I got my guy SpongeBob, right? But the reason why I got this shirt here, I'm going to come closer. It's because of this here. Right? Can you see it? Ah, yeah, right there. Yeah. So SpongeBob speaking Spanish. It says, Bob España, right? Bob España. And I was like, okay, that's that's tough there, you know. I don't, I don't, I, I speak a little Spanish, but I'm not as fluent in Spanish. I'm not gonna hold a conversation with you. I can get you some greetings and some salutations, but get it, greetings, and salutations here. Yeah. But outside of that, I can't, I can't do a full conversation anymore. I'm not in school no more, so my mind hasn't always been there. But I thought this was tough here, and this will go. This one went tough with the, the light blue jeans, but I, I, I just thought this was was dope here. I'm, I'm 20, I'm about to be 29 years old, and I got a SpongeBob shirt. Yes, I do. Come at your boy if you want to. I don't care. But I got that from Target, right? And then I left Target's app, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna get some more clothes. I'm, I was, I was like a clothes buying frenzy. You know, I don't like buying clothes. I don't like spending money, but I had it. And I needed it. Springtime is here, and I'm trying to just step out of my shell, my comfort zone. I'm trying to trying to tone down the sweatpants, stuff like that. Uh, I'm not getting rid of my sweatpants, but they're gonna come down, like, you know, what I'm saying, like, like they they gonna come down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, so I, I I went to my other my favorite store H and M and I got the app I got all I'm like a I'm like them like a gold member on H and H and M at this point here but I've been I've been rocking with H and M for for a pretty pretty while I think since I first got hit to them with, with from like way back in the day before I even hit the the Walker hospitals like it was way before that I was with H and M whatever but um I, I went on H and M's website and I was like I need something just simple right just a simple a, a simple shirt just no 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 monograms no no graphics nothing. So I got this right, right? This this white, 
fit this white slim fit uh long sleeve shirt it's pretty thin it's breathable right and i, I got this one here because i got the black ones too um i think i put it in the other haul if either is in a haul it's on tiktok but i put like some a black shirt with three black shirts like this same material from same um brand from h&m same store h&m but the black ones came like it was like a, a, a three pack sale type thing you can buy one get two for free i think something like that was or half off something like that so i got them but this one only had one i was kind of pissed i was kind of upset this one i had one shirt in it but it was cool though it was cool. So I got this one here too, right? Just a plain white shirt, you know, long sleeve, whatever. Um, and this is a medium. All my shirts are mediums. I don't go large. I don't like my shirts to swim. I cannot be swimming in my shirts. I, I don't like that, 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 that feel like you got all extra, you know, baggage, which even this hoodie right now is a medium. I got the hoodie and the sweatpants. This was a set from ASOS somewhere right now. I think I showed you guys this before. And this whole set is a medium. I like that stuff to fit. I'm not a baggy person. I don't like stuff to have extra space for no reason. If it don't fit, it ain't for me. That's just me. I don't like it too tight. I'm not gonna walk around with no skin tight jeans on, like no uh, like 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 uh, like leggings tight. That's not happening. You not you. I'm not about to peel my clothes off. I want to be comfortable in them, but I don't want that extra baggy look or whatever. So I keep my shirts in the medium, unless 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 the medium is cut too small, then I may go up a little bit. And if I know that the shirt will shrink when I get it, I will get it in like a large. And then if I wash it and dry it. And the string, I, I don't always wash and then like let myself air dry. Like sometimes it just takes too much to let yourself air dry. And I like that, that, that warm, that warm, fresh smell from you. Quite to dry your stuff, just smell like it's just like, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, so this is a medium. All, all three shirts are medium. The pants are 32, 34. I'm a, I'm a slim dude. I'm real slim, right? So that was from H&M, right? That shirt was from H&M, right? So I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the end of the power. You see the denim down there right there somewhere right here in this area, right? So I was still on H&M and I was like, I want something that I've always wanted that I've only had since I was a kid, right? I've only had something like this since I was like in elementary school. I was going to this school called Edgar Allan Poe Elementary School over there in Sula, Maryland. Guys, that was a school was the best. I had some great times in that school, but I had a jean jacket back then, right? As, as a kid. And I'm like, yo, when I grew out of it, I was so upset and I could never find one that I liked so ever since then. So I hit up H&M favorite store and sure enough they was like okay you uh you know i had points from because i'm a gold member on there and there was an easter sale happening so i had like like i had like 20 percent off of like everything I, I bought like each item was 20 percent off right i was like i'm, a, I'm about to go just splurge on h&m like a little bit a little bit like me buying three things me splurging somewhere right but i came across this jean jacket right and i think i think this is tough here slide back so you can see i think it's pretty cool it, it's not too much it's, it's, it's like it's just regular de regular denim jacket you see it's just regular denim here and this is also a medium right now i was skeptic about getting this you know h&m they like they give you suggested sizes depending on like your height and stuff like that and uh my suggested size for this here was a medium and i saw it on on the dude that was in, in the, the model guy that was on there and his size was a medium too i mean it says on the app too with the size the model is but it said that he was a medium and his height was six one right and i was okay he looks slim like me he tall like me and the jacket falls on his, like his wrist and, and his wrist and torso is just right. It's not hanging too low. It's not like in his palm of his hand, right? So when I got the jacket, I tried it on and I was like, I, I was kind of perturbed a little bit because I was like, yo, this is pretty, it's, it's like fitted to a T. <laughs> like fitted to a T. I was like, wait, this is what I wanted. I don't want the baggy look, right? So, and I tried it on with one of the shirts and it was like, okay, I, I can see the look it is there now. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to put everything together. Sometimes you have to put everything together. My folks don't like when they say pit, pit, P-I-T instead of P-U-T. The lisp, the way I talk, it comes off the way. Folks know what I mean, right? But when you when you begin to, um, to, to link stuff up, right? You know, it starts it start to fall in place. So it did. I tried the shirts on. I think I tried the plain white shirt on with this with the jacket, and it fell in place. It was tough, right? So I got that jean jacket H&M. Uh, what did I say about H&M? Oh, and the plain white long sleeve shirt from H&M. The jeans from Target. SpongeBob and Rafiki from, from Target. All right, so you know, I leave there. What's my other store? I like guys, you got it. Amazon, right? We saw Amazon. I was like, I want to get something. This, this, uh, th this particular item has been in my car for some time. It's every time I go to get it, it's sold out. So when it was there, I was like, let me check out right now. I got to check out right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. So I checked out, and um, uh, and then I was okay. I got it right. So this here is, is another thin item. It's, it's pretty, pretty lightweight. It's another hoodie, right? It, it looks small. It's not that small, right? It's a medium too. Right, just a black hoodie, you know, just a black hoodie. And the, I got this here because they can double as a workout hoodie or like a hoodie you just wear like outside or whatever. You know, it's plain, you know, it's just nothing fancy about it. Uh, like I said, it's a medium as well. Uh, and it's, it's just, it, it was simple. And I like it 
because it's simple. And if you know me, I like hoodies. I'm wearing one now. I be in the house all the time with a hoodie, a hoodie on and don't be going nowhere. I don't care. I just like wearing hoodies. They're comfortable. I wear a hoodie in the house pretty much all, all, all year long. The one, because I get cold fast. Plus, I just like the hood. I like having hoods. I don't. I just like having hoodies on. I don't know why, but hoodies are comfortable. With. Hoodie season come around. Come at your boy. It probably had like three new hoodies in the closet by then. When it when it rolls back around or springtime, little lightweight hoodies. This we do. You know what I'm saying? We we keep it tight. We keep it together, right? So that's that, right? So I got my hoodie from, got my little thin hoodie from uh, Amazon, jean jacket from H and M, uh, the plain white long sleeve shirt from H and M. Both pair of jeans from uh, 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 Target and the, the Rafiki shirt, the cartoon, the Nickelodeon shirt, 90s cartoons. I give it to your boy, 90s cartoons from Target um, and SpongeBob is from Target. Oh, back to Amazon. I ordered another pair of jeans from Amazon. They they aren't here yet. I was, I should have waited to do this haul, but I didn't want to because I had some other stuff I need to do for you guys. I got to finish dropping my other videos, but uh, I got some other jeans from there, and they were white. I ordered some white jeans. Now, if you know me, I don't like white nothing. I don't like white shoes. I, I do white shirts. I like white tees all the time, like my white um, like crew neck t-shirts, like I feel like undershirts, whatever. And I would like white stuff like that. But like, when it comes to, like the shoes, I don't like white shoes at all. White shoes and white jeans. I've stayed away from them for so long because as you know, as a kid, you're like, yo, you get white shoes and you're outside and get scuffed up, and your whole world is just over. Everything's done. Don't talk to me no more. Don't look at me. I'm done. I don't want to talk to you. My shoes is messed up. I'm mad, right? But I'm like, look, I'm I'm a, I'm a whole adult on these streets. I think I can maintain a pair of white jeans, right? So I order them. I think those were, uh, I think those jeans were, I think they were 32, 34, or they might be a 31, 34. I don't, I don't remember what the size of them jeans were, but, um, but I got them. They'll be here a little bit later this week here. They're also distorted jeans. They, um, they are uh, slim uh, with slim tapered uh, distorted jeans, they're white. I'm like, ah, 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 you know. But I got them. Let's see how it works. If it don't work, it just don't work. You know, you got to step out of that comfort zone sometime, and that's what I'm doing. I'm stepping out of the comfort zone. I'm doing things that I don't normally do, and I, because I know this stuff that I need, right? Um, what else did I buy? Oh, so guys, you also know if you watch me, I always have a watch on in the video, right? So you notice my watch has changed. It has changed. If you if you don't, if you haven't noticed, it's changed. Um, but I, I started to tell about the watch, right? So my, one of my other watches, I was literally laying in bed one day and I rolled over and the band snapped. The band snapped. I guess it might've been too tight when I flexed my wrist or something like that to position myself to roll over. Excuse me. It just popped. It lit, The band just snapped and I was so upset because it was my favorite watch. It popped, right? So before I ordered this one here, I had I always got a backup watch. I got like two backup watches. One backup watch, the battery's dead. I need to get that fixed. And I think I need to get the, um, the, 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 uh, the winder fix on it because uh, it's an analog watch. But so the other watch, my, my other backup watch, I wear the green one. Um, I think it's, it's up there behind. It's behind the tripod somewhere, but it's it's, it's digital and analog in one. Right. So the <laughs> the analog part of the watch, it stopped working right after the band snapped. So the band snaps, I put the other watch on because I got to switch out. My balance got to be right. I switch out. And and the, 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 the clicky click thing, like the hands on the watch, it stops moving. So I'm looking at the time. So the digital part, say for example, it's like it's like three in the afternoon, like three p.m. And <laughs> the hands, it's, like, it's on like eight thirty. And I'm like, the, so the second the second hand is ticking around, but the hour minute hand is, is just sitting there looking at me like, yeah, we not moving today, right? So I got I got I got so upset at that. So that's when I bought a new watch, right? This is a digital watch from Amazon. I got my watch. I'm back in action, right? Big, bigger face, big letters. I don't. I just wanted a watch. I need something on my wrist, whatever. Uh, but I got that, <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, I need some more watches. I get some more watches. Watches, guys. If you guys got any recommendations of any brand watches that you recommend, or where you get your watch from? If you are a watch person, hit me up. Let's link up. Let's talk about some watches. We can, you know, trade low. Uh, I watch people, so on and so forth. We get our watches from whatever. But I don't always get my watches from Amazon. Sometimes I be in the mall and I see a watch like a kiosk. I don't know if the kiosk is being in the mall. Sometimes I get some watches from there. I'm not a big fancy name brand watch. If the watch looks good on my wrist, I'm gonna get it. If I like, I like the big face digital watches. Um, I can tell time analog. Um, but I just like the bigger face digital watches. It's for me. It's it's just a bit more, you know, a bit more me. You know, um, I've had digital analog watches in my in before, but it's like it it it's, it don't have the same finesse to it as, as the digital watch. Because the digital watch you can do so much with it. You know, with where it's a the, the the changing of the colors for like the backlight or whatever. It's 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 a lot. It's a lot. But um, but yeah. So life of poetry, haul right clothing haul. I know I said it's gonna be short, but it's never short. I don't know why. I would try and get these videos like 10 minutes, but they don't ever work out that way. 
I might just start talking real fast and be gone, right? But H&M, Target, Amazon, I got my stuff. I got my iPad too, guys, my iPad. I finally got my iPad, right? iPad Pro, it's a competition, but it's, it's the holder, the protector thing, right? Bow, right? Um, see that See that right there, LP, Life of Poetry, <laughs> LP, right? This is the official Life of Poetry iPad, guys. This isn't for commercial use, this isn't for recreational. I got this strictly to do Life of Poetry stuff on here when it comes to editing, so on and so forth. Uh, and straight business, right? Straight business. Your boy doing things like a poetry. We're going to do some great things in the future. Stay tuned with your boy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Continue to, to follow the videos. If you haven't watched all the videos, please go ahead and watch them, guys. Don't forget to watch the... Um, if you haven't... Also, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and um, uh, watch the uh, regrouping and recharging videos. That series there. Uh, we'll be we'll be finishing up that video really soon. Um, but depending on when you watch this here, but we will be finishing up the, the, the first um, uh, series one of recharging and regrouping. Um, also guys, don't forget to uh, hit, don't forget to go and follow my uh, TikTok um, and Instagram at officially.marcus.t. The links will be in the description down below. As always, they will not go anywhere as well at the Life and Poetry Facebook like page, L-I-K-E uh, page. Um, those links will be in the description down below as well as the, uh, as well as your boy's first book, um, which is on Amazon, Love in the Eyes of the Author. I know I don't mention that enough guys. Go please, please, please go do me a favor and buy a copy of that book, whether it be, I'm actually, wow. Whether it be or a paperback or ebook, it's available both ways. If you are a Kindle reader, it's there, guys. Go. It's not that much money. It's not that. It's not that expensive. Help support your boy. Help support the brand. Help support the growth. Um, I support your family. I love you guys as always. Thank you so much for being a part of the family. Thank you so much for staying tuned for 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 for, for throughout this journey here. Thank you so much for being interested in my life and my journey here, and be willing to sit down and and just be a part of it all. I support you. I cannot do this without you. I, I will not do this without you. I will not do this without God, first and foremost. Um, he's going to make sure he guides us in the right direction as we, can need, as we continue to grow into what's to come next on this channel, this brand, this platform, so on and so forth. But we got to go. All right, I got my cookie waiting. <laughs> I'm hungry. But we got to go. As always, I love you so much. And thank you so much. I should have waited to eat that cookie after this here. But I love you guys so much. I thank you so much. Thanks for being part of this here journey. Just continue to stick with your boy. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share, comment, subscribe, subscribe, comment, share, like, thumbs up. If you like it, thumbs down. If you don't, it's all love here. Like, for you guys. I love you so much. We got to go. Till next time, we out. We tell you to sign up too. You catch it? You catch it. We out. Peace.